Okay, well, I guess let's start with this. I survived uh, four years of Catholic school, um, and that is probably where the light flickered in atheism was uh, going through that horrible traumatic experience. Um, the light then went out for many years, but then came back on. Um, it was absolutely causing me misery though, all the way deep inside of me because it just was not logical. It uh, just was not making any sense. It, it, everything was starting to kind of fall apart um, and it really fell apart um, during the death of my mother. Um, she was a believer, believed to the very end and I just, it, the mystery just fell apart at that moment for me and I immediately after she died, I lost my only brother. So then it really set in. I, especially when people at a funeral will come up to you and just say, oh, you know, Joe, this is just God's work. And God had nothing to do with that. It was just the end of her life cycle. Then I really started to question myself. And then the answer just came. It just came to me that I have been lied to ever since I was in Catholic school and it just un unround like a ball of twine and now I can definitely say I have freedom in my life. I've said no, that's it, I'm done. Yeah, uh, when you do turn secular, you do appreciate the moment. I do know that when I was a believer, I did not be in this moment, I was always thinking about the moment after we die, which is fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm just sorry, it really is. Um, yeah, so as an atheist, I definitely live in the moment. I definitely make more time to be with friends and family than I ever had as a believer. Um, when I came out, I lost half of my Facebook friends, half of them, half of them overnight. Uh, I'm not on Facebook anymore, but then when I did come out, I tripled the number by coming to these conventions and coming around like-minded people like myself, which was really cool, who was willing to accept me as who I am. And so that was, that was kind of a, a, a cool experience. Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an atheist. And I was like you at one time. I was sitting on the fence. I had a lot of information that I'd learned as a child. It wasn't making any sense anymore. And as I got older, the whole mystery unraveled. So if it's unraveling for you, it's okay to say enough is enough. It's okay to say, I'm not gonna believe the greatest lie ever told anymore. I'm not proselytizing you. That is not an atheist job. All of us tell our story because all of us were where you might be at right now. Sitting, wondering about this it's not even the great mystery, it's, it's a great lie. In my mind it is. So if you're on the fence, we were there, we understand. Come on over, come to a convention, check out a meeting, come out, be proud. It's okay if you're scared. It's okay if you don't tell everybody that you're an atheist because I find myself in certain circumstances that I cannot tell them. That's why I come to these conventions. I'm at Skepticon 5 right now. I'm around like-minded people just like myself, of all ages, of all colors, ethnicity, sexuality, everybody. We're all getting along in one place. There's a place for you. Come on out. It's okay to be scared. I was scared as hell. I'm still scared sometimes. I'm not gonna lie to you. But the freedom that I have gotten since I've walked away is priceless. My mind is clear. I'm not worried about arbitrary Bronze Age biblical tales that don't make sense. I was just like you. I hope to see you at a convention. Go to a website. Come to one of them. Come to many of them. Go to meetup. There are secular meetups all over the United States. I encourage you to come on out. It's okay. I'm an atheist, and I'm glad to meet you, and I hope to meet you one day. My name is Joe. I'm a proud atheist. We are atheists.